deflection video. Belt deflection. It's about an inch and a half. Maybe more. Today we're going to be showing you how to install and remove your belt and set the proper belt deflection with um, one of our Gen 1 style secondaries. Um, this is basically going to pertain to any secondary that has this outer adjuster nut on it. Um, and basically we're only going to need two tools. So you're going to need the included um, adjustment nut tool that you get with your clutch and then a 316 sandwich wrench. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just kind of take a note. You can see where we're at with the belt on how tight it is. And this is what we're setting with the belt deflection is how tight this belt is. Um, so the first thing we're going to do um, when we want to remove our belt and change it. So let's say we're trying to put a new belt on. We're going to loosen our um, pinch bolt here with our 316 sound wrench. So we're going to take our adjuster tool and we're just going to tighten this adjuster in. And see right now the car is in neutral so it'll spin free. If you go ahead and put the car in gear, then you don't have to try to hold the clutch and uh, spin it and tighten it at the same time. And you want to just push in, hit engage, open the clutch up. And we want to just get the clutch in far enough to where it's down so that we can you know, take it over the top. So we're afraid how to the Put a new one on, and we do that by keeping the adjuster in the same spot, putting our new belt on, and then just flip it over the side, just like that. And then what I like to do is just take, and you're going to hold this belt down in position, just loosen this adjuster up. So now that the, so now the clutch is on the belt, we can take and just spin this right up to the top here, so we get it to where it's just about flush at the end. Then we're going to go up and put our car back in neutral. And then we're able to spin, free spin the converter. So what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it normal in the normal direction and get the clutch, the belt back up to the top of the clutch. And then once we start getting close, we're going to get it up to the top here. And we're going to start seeing how tight the belt is. And we want to get it up until the belt is all the way tight. See, so we're still off of our adjuster. And we're coming up. And see, so now our belt is getting really taut to the top, so we know that's where we're going to be. So we're going to take and bring our adjuster in, and then we're going to go ahead and tighten it up another about quarter to half turn, depending on how new your belt is, where you want to be, but you want to have some, some deflection. And then go ahead and roll it forward, make sure that's where it's going to be. So you can see, so now as we're setting this belt deflection, the, the main thing that we're setting this for is to make sure that when we shift gears with the car in and out of park to drive neutral reverse, that it's smooth and free and it doesn't it doesn't hit or bind or spin. So what we do is we start the car to check that. But you want to go ahead and tighten this jam nut before you start the car to check the, check the deflection. So you see we got some loosness on the belt. We'll go ahead and start it and check the deflection and make sure everything is good to go. And we should be good. So as you can see, we had a slight Light pump when we got into gear. We'll go ahead and loosen this deflection just slightly to get that a little smoother. So now we're about a half turn in. You can see where we're at there. And we'll just tighten this jam that back up. Turn the clutch up and check where we are. And that's going to be how we set our and check our belt deflection. Thanks for watching.